Hey, good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Weekend Recap. It's been quite a few weeks since I've done one of these episodes, but I picked up a decent amount of stuff this weekend, so I figured it was necessary. As you can see here, a lot of newer stuff. Went to uh, the flea market LCS yesterday and today, then also to an indoor flea market um, about an hour away and found a nice variety of things. So thanks for being here, you guys. I'm sure there won't be too many people with us tonight due to the Bills and Steelers game happening in like five minutes, but I want to thank you for being here. So I'm going to check out everything I picked up. Got a lot of newer stuff, a bunch of fat packs from Big Lots from 2017, which I'm pretty excited about that, one from 2018. And also, most importantly, a set that I've been after since the early to mid-90s. So over 25 years, I've wanted this set. I'm going to leave you in suspense for that. We're going to dig into that a little later. But first, we're going to go over the singles I got and everything else and check it all out. So thanks for being here. And yes, we have a Tony LaRussa baseball for Sega. That was actually a pickup from today. I'm pretty excited about that, too. And right off the bat, there's Mike5041. It says, John, I'll be sending a package out this week. Thanks so much, Mike. I really appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Looking forward to it. Please make sure you enclose what you collect in the, uh, in the note, and I'll get you something in return as well. And what's up, Eric? Says, hey, John, watching you while watching my Bills beat the Steelers. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, man. I really appreciate it. Um, first, we are going to start out with this right here. This is the proper time of the year for one of these. Talk Boy, I'm sure some of you guys remember this. I actually just watched this movie last night, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I never knew this existed. I, I had the original one uh, that was displayed in the movie. They really marketed and hyped up, and every single kid had to have it. Um, the big bulky one never knew this existed from Tiger Electronics from 1997. So I think this was four or five years after Home Alone 2 came out. But this is a flea market pickup from today for four bucks. I couldn't pass it up. I don't know if it works. Obviously, the batteries are dead and somebody turned it on a long time ago and left it on and they died. So they usually sell for about 30 bucks on eBay. So I figure for four bucks, I will take it. They made a lot of different variations of these too. Some of you guys may remember that from 97, but. Pretty cool. That was really the only toy that I found today. Uh, my favorite spot to go to on the weekends now is the, as you guys call the honey hole inside the flea market, because I never leave there empty handed. I always find stuff that I'm after. So, and this is one thing I picked up too. Kind of a cool, weird oddball set. The 2005 Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects Aflac Redemption set. So this is a mail-in set. You had to pull the redemption card. I think it was like about one in 32 packs. You send that in and then, uh, they send you this set, 14 card set. Um, I think the best card in it's like uh, Chris Marrero, but still pretty cool. I paid two bucks for this at the LCS, so I'm not sure if I'll keep that, give it away. A lot of stuff I buy from there, I, I give it away. Um, so I'm not sure what will happen with that. And then, as someone mentioned earlier, the La Russa baseball for Sega. This is pretty sick. I paid a buck for this at the uh, flea market today. I, I don't think Eric and I ever owned this game, but I definitely remember running it and playing it. We played Tony 2 for DOS all the time in the 90s. We loved it. But a buck for this with the original inserts and the case. Could not walk away from that, especially uh, since I want to start the like the retro gaming night once a week, once every other week, whatever we're going to do sometime soon. I figured at some point we'll play that, and that'll be an awesome blast from the past. I need to track down my Sega console first. But that was a pickup for a buck today. Got some Tops Holiday. These are pretty cool, too. We'll check those out. Some singles. Um, a 98 Top Series 2 box. I quit collecting like 97 or 98, so I don't remember ever really seeing those. But those are pretty hot back in the day, and they still have some value to them because of the Clemente uh, reprint cards. Also, look for Hall of Fame minted cards as well. So probably do that at some point down the road. And check those out. I can't even remember, honestly, what the 98 Tops design looked like. Now I'm thinking about it. Paul L says, how's the G.I. Joe video coming? You might see that this week. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. It, 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 I haven't started it yet, but uh, once I get rolling with it, it'll come out probably pretty quickly. So Tops Holiday Box. These were actually already open. I bought those today um, from a vendor inside the uh, second flea market. He was like, two bucks, take them. And I felt... They felt like they were pretty much all full. The box is full. Packs were opened already, but I was like, maybe I'll pull, pull some stars or some short prints out of that. I think the short prints for Tops Holiday are pretty cool. So 
We'll check that out in a second, but these were also from the second indoor flea market. This was uh, 10 cents for the Ryan 83 Fleer. I thought that was a pretty good buy. I love the 10 cent boxes, especially I'm looking for uh, new rookie cards I don't have already. Judge, Acuna, Gold Cup, Taurus, and then some Prison here as well. Hey, Dan, what's up, Hard Art Cards? Judge, Soto, uh, Soto Gold Cup, and Bowman Platinum, Soto, Acuna. These were all a dime, so I couldn't pass these up. Garrett Cole, Prism. Brian Reynolds, and then Rowdy Telez, Topps Gallery, and Kopech rookie card, also for for a dime. And Kevin Biggio, I did not have any of his rookies at all, so I think I paid a buck for that one. Couldn't walk away from any of those. And then uh, these are pretty cool, too. I didn't know these existed until today. These are from uh, the Honey Hole. 89 Fleer error cards. Mike Heath with the uh, incorrect back, Tom Brookins. And then Tom Brookins with the Mike Heath back. So I, I paid a buck a piece for those. I like error cards. That's primarily what I collect, errors and rookie cards nowadays. Um, and he seems to always have a good bit of them for me. So pretty cool cards. I never knew they existed. So I picked those up as well, along with Dave Parker, 74 Tops rookie card for, I think, five bucks. Also another one I didn't have on my PC. And it's in pretty good shape too. So had to grab the Parker rookie. And it's Criterion and Racer. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. I know uh, the football game is taking priority tonight with a lot of uh, viewers. So thank you guys all for being here. You guys are awesome. Next up, we have 93 Tops traded set. I had to buy that. The key card in that is Todd Helton, rookie card. I want to say I have it already, but I figured I'd pick it up and probably give it away at some point or something. And we'll move into the 2019 Tops Holiday Box. So, same guy bought all the cards for a dime. I didn't even look in here first. He's like, if you want it, it's two bucks. I was like, cool. I actually like Tops Holiday. I don't really buy newer cards much, but uh, it's like two bucks. I can't turn it down. So I was like, maybe there'll be like a couple stars in there, maybe a rookie card or a short print. So, we'll check these out. And I was surprised. I looked through them earlier and was like, wow, I can't believe some of these cards are in here. Jorge Soler. But uh, some rookies, some stars. Nice mixture. I didn't see any short prints. I'm not that great at uh, picking those out, but maybe you guys will see some. I'll try to go through these like somewhat slow. Kershaw. But there was uh, a couple rookies in here I didn't have that I was pretty stoked about. So I thought it was a good buy for two bucks. Baez. Kevin Biggio is definitely one I didn't have. So I thought that was pretty awesome to find that one. Zach Wheeler. And also Jeff McNeil. So another one I was stoked to find in there. Moncada. Here's Joe Yankee. He says, 93 score break Tuesday. I want a Jeter. Yeah, we're definitely doing 93 score. Um this coming Tuesday. I will be posting that probably after this video. Victor Robles, maybe we'll see one of his rookie cards tonight in 2018. I just got one pack of 2018 and uh, five of 2017. Yeah, check your local big lots. This is one in Evansburg I went to on the way back from the flea market. And um, big lots usually has this for five bucks a pack. I want to say Walmart, from what people tell me, Walmart says it's a 398 if you do find them there. But the reason I bought so many, I originally was going to buy like two or three. And then when the cashier was ringing them up, they were coming up as um, buy one, get one half off. So I was like, I'm going to buy a bunch of those. See if we can pull some short prints or the Judge Rookie out of Series 1 for 2017. Ben Attendee. Paul Ellis says, hopefully Randy Tomlin reappears on Tuesday. I would not doubt it. Gary Sanchez. Sean Anderson Rookie. Kikuchi Rookie card. I think there's a couple of his in here. Devers, DeGrom, and a Pete Alonzo, too. So I think between the Alonzo, the McNeil, and um, the Biggio, this box definitely paid for itself with two bucks. <laughs> There's Austin Farmer says, John is so proud <laughs> of his new 2013 Trill Play Albert Pools. Well, thank you very much for that, Austin. And thank you very much for sending... That one touch pool halls. Where is it? I have it sitting right next to me somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere. I just I just saw it a minute ago. 
Yep, there it is. Austin Farmer sent an amazing package on Friday that I opened up, and this was the highlight of it. If you guys didn't see that video, Paul Stroll play from his favorite set of all time. I actually picked up a few cards for you today, Austin. Um, I was actually looking for stuff for you because you really only collect newer cards, and I only collect older cards for the most part. So I had to try to find you some stuff that you're after, and I, I had some decent luck. Another Kikuchi, rookie card, Polanco, Hunter Pence, getting doused. So some repeats, but all in all, um, I don't know. Like I said, those three rookies alone, I um, was pretty stoked about that. Martinez, and then some of the uh, parallels as well. But didn't see any short prints, though. Bogarts, I think the short prints in this set are pretty cool. Bregman, but a lot of stars overall in here. DJ LeMahieu, Torres, Gold Cup card. Yeah, you bet, Austin. You bet, man. No problem. Thank you for sending those rookie cards. I didn't have any of those other than the one uh, Austin Meadows. And I don't think you'd have too many of his rookie cards right now. Cole Hamels. Yeah, so somebody said it looks like there's more than one box that was opened up and thrown in here. I forget how many packs were even put into these. Obviously, there's got to be more than one box in here. So pretty cool, Freddie Freeman. Bunch of rookies and whatnot. Aussie Albies, maybe we'll see uh, his rookie in 2018 Series 1. Some decent ones in there. I want to say Walker Bueller's in Series 1 of 2018. Mike says, John, do you like The Walking Dead? You know what? I used to love The Walking Dead. I watched it. I always like far behind when I first started watching it. I binge watched the first like I think three or four seasons. So they're already like season four or three was already over when I started watching it and then I binge watched all of them or up until the cutoff. And then I think I watched them until like the end of season five or season six. I can't remember because I don't have cable. So what I would do originally <laughs> which is not legal, so don't do it. But uh, I would torrent them after the after the episode air, like an hour later. Somebody would have it uploaded onto a torrent site, so I'd go on there and download it. And I could watch it then, right afterwards. And they kind of kind of curb that, so I could just kind of stop watching it overall. I saw a lot of them are on Netflix now, so um, I'd like to get back into it. I, I did like that show a lot. It's kind of lost touch and haven't gone back and watched it yet. And here, this is uh, just tossed in from the LCS. Um, this is actually from 1981, baseball scratch-off pack with 18 cards. Um, he had these for a buck a piece, and I was looking at him. He's like, you know what, just take one of those, check them out. So we'll rip that open, but... Mr. Taga applied for new to the channel, loving the content. Thanks, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate your support. And AF says, Trill Play 24 pack boxes on the card world as one of their daily deals for five bucks. <laughs> That's crazy for a box of those. Hey, Larry, that is absolutely five bucks. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably just sitting on there. No one's buying them. But, anyways, let's, un let's unveil this set. What do you guys think that this is? The baseball card album. Like I said, this is a set that I've wanted for over 25 years. It's a pretty legendary set. We actually broke a box of these. I don't know, a month ago or something like that. There's Brennan Ondop. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here as well. Paul L., you got it, man. You got it. 92 Bowman. That's what it is. Pick this up today. I was really excited about this. Let me change the, uh, fix the tripod here so you can see it. So 92 Bowman, it's what it is. Um, I actually, I was talking to the guy at the honey hole and I was like, I really want to get the uh, Mo Revere rookie card. I don't have it. And he's like, you know what? I think I have a whole set of those. And that was yesterday. I went back today and um, he had the whole set and he had an $85 tag on it. He gave it to me for 65 bucks. He's like, just take it for 65 and all the cards are in here, and they're all in great condition. Uh, centering looks really awesome, to tell you the truth. 
Um, so I want to check these out. I love this set so much. It's one of my favorite sets ever. It's always been such an iconic set of the early 90s. And it's maintained its value for many, many years still to this day. So there's a Hoffman rookie card in nice shape. I want to show you like some of the key rookies for some of you guys that uh, aren't real familiar with them. Chipper Jones, that's a second year Jones. Looking very, very nerdy. Um, Gwyn. So some pretty big name rookie cards in here. And these are always different. I don't know. I always thought that I was intrigued by them because... I mean, a lot of these cards for the prospects and rookies and whatnot are all like spring training photos. So they're in casual, casual clothing, which I always thought was so, so funny and weird for the time. Derek Lowe rookie card is a Pedro Martinez. It's a first year card for him. Um, there's a Delgado rookie card up there. Stewie Hunts, 93 Bowman. 93 Bowman is a Jeter rookie card. Well, I should be looking for that here pretty soon. I have a box of those I want to rip open here. Sometime soon. I figure we do score first. I was always freaked out by that Kevin Young card. Hey, Big D, 5011. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Did I miss something? I'm, I apologize. I did acknowledge that from Brennan Audop. Audap, thank you very much, man. I was actually talking to him uh, via email. He is relatively new to getting back in the hobby again. And uh, he was telling me about some of his pretty freaking awesome finds. There is the Nolan Ryan. Nigel Wilson, that was such a hot card in 92. Same with the David Need, the Juan Guzman. So many cards that uh, kind of fizzled out. Players have fizzled out, I should say. But uh, very iconic set from my early years. And these usually go for about 90 to over 100 bucks on eBay. And here's the card that I've been after for a long time, the Motor Revere rookie card. And it is in... Great condition. Gary Anderson above that. But the MOBA itself usually sells for uh, 40 bucks loose. High end of 40 bucks. Started between 30 and 40. So I was like, wow, 65 bucks for the entire set is it is an amazing price. So I usually make this uh this stop like my first stop the weekend, and I end up going there both days a lot of the time because he brings in new stuff. Joe Yankees is Rivera is good money alone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because I was, I was looking on eBay for Rivera for a while, and yeah, they they usually sell uh, ungraded for about between thirty and forty bucks. High end of forty bucks. So I was like, wow, sixty five the entire set, and you're getting the Piazza rookie card and everything else with it too. I have, um, I want to say I have all the other rookies other than Cliff Floyd out of this set, which is not really a big one, but it's definitely one that I wanted because I don't have it. So. I want to check these out, go over these with you guys. There's a Piazza rookie card, pretty iconic one as well. But, I mean, the centering, everything else on these look pretty sharp to me. The corners are all sharp. So I could not, couldn't beat it. But definitely one that I've wanted for a long time. These were very premium cards back in 92. I want to say they were like, I don't know, maybe they were at least five bucks a pack, maybe 10. So at most, I probably bought one pack of these in my life. Mike says, John, have you ever seen the Jeter SP from 2007 Tops with Mantle and Bush photoshopped in the background? You know, I just saw that recently um, somewhere. It was either on eBay or maybe on YouTube. Someone was talking about it. I never even heard about it until then. Now I kind of want to get it. <laughs> like, that's pretty crazy. It sounds like an awesome card. Photoshopped in the background. Hey, Jay Hadley, what's happening? NJW Cards. Thanks for being here, you guys. Just checking out the 92 Bowman set I picked up today. One that I've been after for a long time. There's many Ramirez rookie card. Had that one already, but still a cool one nonetheless. Thomas Foyle, Joe Randa, rookie. Then you get into some of the like USA. And there's Greg Swindell, foil card. I can't believe he had a foil card in there. I want to say he had Diamond Kings in 92 as well. Bonds foil. So pretty big set, and um, it's all here. The Cliff Floyd rookie card is pretty ridiculous. It is pretty ridiculous. It's, uh, he's dunking a baseball. It's closer to the end of the set. It should be coming up any, any second now. Will Clark, foil car. There it is. There it is. So Manny Ramirez actually has two cards in the set. He's got a foil and a regular base. And um, try to show you guys this a little better without knocking everything over. But there is the Cliff Floyd <laughs> rookie card of him dunking a baseball. Hey, Teddy Halpin, what's happening? 
So that's it, and then the checklist is. So everything is there. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, Mike, he definitely does look like he's about to go golfing, but I could not beat that for 65 bucks. This is definitely one that I'll keep forever. Like, I don't normally collect sets, but uh, 90 Leaf, I picked up the 90 Leaf set a few months ago for 5 bucks, and it was only missing the Griffey, and I actually end up, end up buying the Griffey, I want to say, for like a buck somewhere at flea market, so... I have that one and now 92 Bowman. I mean, I have other sets too, but ones that I'm actually going after nowadays. Um, just mostly iconic ones from my childhood. Like 90 Leaf was always one that I wanted to get when I was younger, but they were so expensive. Teddy Halpin, Move On is in there. He definitely is. So might as well rip these open from 1981. The scratch-offs. Pretty interesting. I was actually looking at a box 82 tops today. Uh, same place. And the gums and a wrapper in here. Oh, Teddy Halpin. Yeah, the Rivera is in there. That was like the main card that I was after. This gum looks like it has mold on it. I was going to eat it. But uh, I might as well try it. Yeah. There's definitely like white mold on that. I'm going to opt out of eating that. <laughs> going to opt out of eating that. But the, these are... The uh, scratch-offs, very different-looking set. I just saw these for the first time, like, kind of recently. So Fred Lynn, Chet Lemon, Eddie Murray, early in his career. So very different. Jack Clark, there's a Buckner, Luzinski, and a Dave Kingman. Mike says, could you even win anything? You know what? I'm not sure. Looks like... Rules are the same as baseball, nine innings complete game. Um, nah, it doesn't look like you actually could redeem anything. And then just trying to sell you a sports card locker on the back. Still pretty cool though, anyways. You probably buy the whole set of those for ten bucks or something like that. So there's probably not much value to them. Hey, Robert Rathen, what's happening? So those aside, we'll get into ripping some newer packs, something that I don't normally do here. I don't know what's got into me again, but Big Lots, if you want to find some of these older packs, go to Big Lots. You will probably find them there. I have not seen the 2017 Series 1 yet till today. Usually I see the Series 2, which I bought a few of those. Eric Z says, future auctions, John. Um, probably sometime soon. I have so many, so many cards to go through. Tons of them. I have to... Um, completely uh, categorize my rookie card collection because I have stuff just in boxes everywhere. So as soon as I get a chance to do that, then uh, we'll probably do some more auctions here pretty soon. So 2017 Series 1, the Aaron Judge rookie. Best rookie to find. But there's a ton of short prints in here as well. Robert Rathman. Yeah, you know what? Big Lot's got a uh, shipment of a lot of these older packs. 2017 People were saying 2018 Series 2 could be found at Big Lots. I haven't seen them yet. Um, Party City supposedly has them. I have one like a half hour away. I called I called them, and um, the guy acted like he had no idea what I was talking about. But when I first heard that they had these, Big Lots employees were like actually getting mad about it. Like uh, I would call them and be like, hey, you guys have baseball cards. Like, what? And then, I, then they put me on hold, and then I'd hear the employee talk to somebody else. Like, there's some guy asking if we have baseball cards. Like, when do we start selling those? <laughs> they were getting, like, real mad about it. But, um, yeah, they have them there. They're usually up front by the checkouts. And it seems like they're always 5 bucks a pack. But like I said, these were buy one and get one half off. So, Jorge. So, looking for the Judge rookie card. Or short prints. I don't know if that's one or not. I'm terrible at finding short prints. So that one is not. Rizzo. Xander Bogarts. And a Joe Maurer. And then and now. Cespedes with the 87 Tops design. A Jackie Robinson. I want to say Jay Hadley sent me this exact same card. In a frame. Luke Weaver rookie card. Byron Buxton. Gorilla family, thanks a lot, man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Benatendi rookie card, that's a cool one. I did not have that one either, so pretty awesome for my rookie collection. Stewie Hunt said, I stopped in Big Lots a month ago, and they told me they didn't have baseball cards. I'm going to have to stop in tomorrow. 
You know what? They they that happened to me too. The first time I went in there, there's a judge rookie card. That is pretty freaking awesome. The very first pack. Wow. Very awesome. And I have this one already, but we'll uh, we'll give it away here at some point. Pretty awesome. First pack. Joe Yankee, check it out. Freaking awesome. That is the whole reason why I love ripping packs, looking for rookies, inserts, exactly like I did when I was a kid. And the very first pack, it shows up. That's freaking awesome. Gorilla Family says, beautiful judge rookie. We have two. Love them. That is great. Yeah, I think I, I have that one in the rookie debut, but uh, we'll definitely be giving that away at some point here. Yeah, so check your big lots. They're like, they have Pokemon cards, like battery display racks, all this stuff. Like, by the, by the registers, you have to kind of look for them, but they're there. But I don't think the employees, like, most of them know that they're there. They just kind of snuck them out one day. So, but from what I hear, they are more than they are at uh, Walmart. But if they have the deal everywhere else, they buy one and get one half off, and it's a pretty good deal. So, I don't see any short prints yet, but you never know. Scott Van Slyke, Tyler Glass now, rookie card. Chris Davis. Beltron. Addison Russell, gold. And Will Myers insert card. That's a pretty cool little one. Five tool. Pedroia. Wade Davis. Beltry. Bogarts again. Austin Farmer. Yeah, Clint Frazier rookie card is in Series 1 of 2018. Carlos Correa. And Dansby Swanson rookie card is a nice one too. That's probably actually another one of the best ones you can pull out of the 2017 Series 1. 2018, Walker Bueller, Reese Hoskins, Victor Robles. Clint Frazier. There's a decent amount in 2018 Series 1. I feel like I never really see those packs either. And a Bregman rookie card, too. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I had that one. So some nice cards showing up here. Chad Hopkins, what's happening, man? Thank you for joining us. Joe Musgrove rookie card. Bradley Jr. Aaron Hicks. Ripping some new packs. Something that doesn't happen here very often. But there's some pretty valuable short prints in Series 1 of this. So if you if you go get some of Big Lots and pull some, you could probably make yourself a nice chunk of money. Ortiz, Syndergaard, Chris Bryant again. Lindor. Altuve. And Indians. I think these are gold cards. They're usually numbered 1301 out of 2017. Paul Wall. Oconforto. 87 tops design. Jeff Eric Thompson says, nice Bregman. Hopefully they keep Cray next to him on the left side. No doubt about it, man. Yeah, that was definitely a nice surprise. I forgot Bregman was uh in this series. Yeah, so everybody go out, raid your big losses, and see if you can find some nice stuff. Because you might find 2018 series too. I haven't seen him yet at any of mine, but uh, I feel like Polanco and Seeger, Gold Cup. Hey, El Canon, what's happening, man? Thank you guys all for being here. I know the game's going on, so I feel like everyone's caught up in that this evening. Three more fat packs to open here. Let's, let's rip 2018. Pull the judge out of the first pack of 2017. That's pretty freaking awesome. Ryan Braun. Harrison Bader. Nice one there. Hey, Dave Durango, what's happening? Bader, Bader rookie card is a nice one. Sandberg with the 83 tops design. That's pretty cool. And Sir Joey Votto. And a lot of Chris Bryant's in these packs. Eddie Rosario. I don't think there's. Any, I don't think we've seen any short prints yet. Willie Banter or Woody Banter. Yeah, you know what? Actually, the first pack we ripped open, we found the Judge rookie card, 2017 Series One. That was pretty awesome. That was 
Really why I bought him, Verdugo rookie card. I say I have that one already. There's Austin Farmer again. He says, got three more Clint Frazier's in the mail today at 155. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Brett G says, John Poole watch the games on TV and on the phone. Yeah, that is true. But I figure if people are watching the game, then they're occupied with that and probably not in here. Maybe some people are multitasking. Hunter Pence. What set did you miss? Yeah, I picked up the whole 92 Bowman set today, which is pretty awesome. For only 65 bucks, which I thought was a hell of a deal. And everything's in great shape in there. Second to last pack of 2017 Series 1. Maybe we'll see another Judge or another Bregman. That's pretty awesome. Two Bregman rookie cards. Hey, OPG. Musgrove again, so kind of the same, some of the same uh, lineup here from the first pack. Hobbyist says, how come I never find deals like that? Check out your big lots, man. You may find them. A lot of the same cards as Seeger parallel. I don't know if we've seen any short prints or not so far. I'm terrible at finding those without looking at the back of every single card. Um, Rediscover Tops, first time I've ever seen those in a pack. I don't think they're really... They're not numbered and not really worth anything, I don't think, but still kind of cool nonetheless. And some team cards. Bunch of team cards. And... A Scott Spezio, Rediscover Tops card. Blake Snell, Polanco, Seager Gold Cup. Hey, Triple C's, what's happening, man? One more pack of 2017. Fingers crossed. Jeff Airtime says a big lot seem to be hit or miss with cards. Yeah, I guess it all depends on if people, I don't know, um, if people know about it. Like, I feel like some of the ones in my area were all rated, like, pretty quick once word got out. And there was really nothing, uh, nothing there at all. But I went to this random one today off of a pretty major highway in an area that I didn't think anyone would really go to looking for baseball cards and had pretty good luck and like i said these were buy one get one half off so i don't i'm not sure if that's like a special that they're all running now or what and party city has cards too as triple c says i did hear that i called them and they they talked to me like i was crazy and um i'm not sure what that is on dallas keichel the last pack of 2017 evan we pulled the Benetendi rookie card, too. It was pretty nice. I don't think I had that one. Another parallel here. These ones aren't numbered, though. These are like spring training cards or something like that, or some sort of weird insert set. And not a refractor. I'm not sure what these were. I think I pulled one out of a pack recently. My new card knowledge is pretty crappy, but I still enjoy looking for rookies regardless. Robinson Cano, then and now. Those are kind of cool. And a Trout. Silver Slugger Award. I know Jay Hadley likes Mike Trout, so I could send that your way. Terry Francona and Don Mattingly uh, reprint there. Rainbow Foil, that's what it is. Okay, thank you for the heads up on that. It does sound familiar now. Addison Russell, Archie Bradley, Adam Duvall. Yeah, I have no, I don't think there's any short prints in here. I feel like those are somewhat easy to differentiate. Not really so much for me, but for everybody else. Goldschmidt. And nothing else too notable in there, but the Judge rookie was pretty freaking awesome, so uh, we'll give that away here at some point. What's up, Bim Slang? That's really it for the pickups this weekend. I thought it was pretty good, though. 92 Bowman set was pretty freaking awesome. So that's that. I also um, i am going to try to try to do uh maybe a video a day this week if i'm able to because i have some stuff i'd like to rip open i have some toy videos i'd like to put out there if i'm able to i will stemmer's hits what's happening yeah 92 bowman set for 65 bucks all in a binder and uh great condition too that was one of the pickups from today pretty excited about that so that's all i have for you guys i just want to rip some packs and bs with you guys and see how your weekend's going so 
you guys can get back to the Bills Steelers game, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So thanks again for being here. You guys are awesome. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow evening.